Hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradimo and welcome to today's pre-market preview. Uh, on today's news, uh, the, the Brexit negotiations are nearly collapsing with the UK government telling their financial institutions to prepare with the regulators. And the Chinese delegation tones down their expectations towards the trade war uh, talks in Washington. This has been very bearish for the pound, for the US dollar and for equities. We're going to go through everything on today's pre-market preview. So let's start with uh, the pound versus the US dollar, all right? Now the pound versus the US dollar saw a uh, surge in bears uh, when uh, the news came out that uh, the Brexit negotiations were nearly collapsing and that the UK was preparing for an actual no deal Brexit on October the 31st. Um, well, the, p the price of the pound against the dollar dropped um, uh, for about, uh, let me see, for about, dropped for about uh, 80 pips or 0.68% uh, to, uh, the, to the daily lows uh, and hit our value zone. If you notice here, uh, I'm sorry about this. If you notice here, we have a key level at around the 22.30, all right? And the pound has hit this key level. Now, uh, a lot of you might think that this is a great opportunity to buy the pound because of this, uh, I, mean, I mean, because of this news driven dip. But in my eyes, this is more than news driven noise, right? Uh, this is an actual preparation of the UK government for a no deal Brexit, which would be disastrous for the pound and will actually be very bearish. So, uh, Yes, buying the pound now would give you a, an awesome risk to reward scenario uh, for a long trade, but due to the political environment around the uh, Brexit negotiations with, uh, with uh, the UK and the EU, I don't see this as a good buy on the pound. Uh, but I'd like to point out that uh, if... Uh, uh, we break with uh, this level right here. Uh, we could see the pound um, retesting the, this key level to go to the lows around the 120 and right there would be a great opportunity for us to sell the pound. That if uh, and only if this is what actually happens. Now, we don't know what's going to, uh, I, I mean, we don't know future price action. No one knows what we can know, what we can only do is prepare for different scenarios. Now, another scenario that we're preparing for is an actual bounce from this level. All right. Uh, let me just uh, uh, connect my laptop. That's it. Thank you. So uh, uh, the other, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. The other, um, yes, the, the uh, other scenario that we are preparing for is a bounce from this level. So if we go to the hourly chart, uh, let me just uh, load it. If we go to the hourly chart and uh, we see some kind of a rejection here and uh, in the short term rejection pattern, we are going to be buyers. But for the time being, we are staying, uh, we are staying put uh to see an actual rejection or an actual breakout of this key level now this is the pound versus the us dollar but an but but an, but the actual uh, uh pound pair that i have my real eyes on is the pound versus the yen and the reason that the, i have the, my eyes on the pound versus the yen is because the pound versus the yen has hit again uh, well has hit uh, a very very important level uh, around the 130.50, and uh, it's the, well, it's the same two scenarios as the pound versus the U.S. dollar, uh, but uh, the difference is that if we have a rejection of this uh, level of the 130.50 level, the pound versus the yen is going to give us the best risk versus reward scenario, uh, just because. Uh, uh, of how big the moves are on the Gepi, right? Uh, we should put our stops below the previous low or below the 130, which would give us around a 60, 70 pip stop loss uh, for a possible, well, for a possible, let me let me just grab my ruler, a, uh, for a possible first target of uh, 150 pips, second target even further. So, uh, 
heads up to those to those two uh, to those two currency pairs and their reaction to those levels. Of course, that this is going to be driven by news on uh, how the Brexit negotiations go. And uh, if I'm not correctly, uh, oh, I'm sorry, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, Brexit negotiations have restarted uh, or uh, or restarted an hour ago after. Um, the EU Commission said the EU position has not changed and that they want a deal. And the UK minister uh, government said it, it is the top priority of this government and principal focus of my job to get ready for a Brexit on, on October the 31st with or without a deal. So we don't know uh, very mixed uh, signals from both uh, sides. So we don't know what's going to happen. And again, these two pairs are going to be uh, driven by the um well by the news after um the after these um negotiations end all right now uh let's go and uh, let's have a look at what has happened with uh, um equities right on the pre-market now uh yesterday we saw uh let me just go to the uh, hourly chart yesterday we saw uh the dow rally the dow reject uh, our key level at around the 25,700 uh, 25, level and rally to uh, the previously broken level around the 26,500. Uh, Alright, now uh, this is not only a rally to a previously broken level, but this is a rally to the 61.8, meaning that we dropped from high to low and now we have retraced back to the 61.8, which gives us as a um, uh, uh, sell the rally type of uh, scenario, right? But uh, that's not the only thing that I wanted to talk about uh, on uh, on this uh, particular market. But uh, uh, let's uh, go back to the news terminal, and I'm going to show you what's going on. So um, la, uh, that this was an hour, an hour and a half ago. The news came out that China had toned down expectations ahead of the U.S. trade war talks as Vice, uh, as Vice Premier Liu He leads team to Washington. Uh, China delegation may leave Washington one day earlier. So again, the, I mean, uh, the trade talks or the trade war talks are nearly collapsing before they even start. Uh, Reuters also reported that uh, the China delegation saw three uh, outcomes, but the 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 most likely at outcome that they saw um, uh, was uh, a continuation of the retaliation between the two nations on tariffs, uh, and this is because they say that China has done everything uh, and has tried to accommodate uh, the uh, U.S. the U.S., but uh, uh, they are not going to be. Um, talking and negotiation with stubbornness so uh, the most likely outcome would be a negative outcome out of these trade talks and the continuation of the trade wars between these two nations which has given uh, um, well which has uh, led to a, um, a bears jumping in on the uh, on the equities market and uh, in this case or the one that we are looking at is a dow so if we go to a daily chart and i'm going to i want to show you uh, my long-term view on this uh if uh, the actual negotiations on uh, with uh, these two nations uh will don't uh, end up with some kind of a deal or a trade deal uh well the dow is going to collapse and uh, we are definitely going to be hitting the previous lows. This uh, this is a, a, an almost given uh, given the uh, well the uh, the uh, the environment around uh, around these negotiations, right? But if this outcome happens, what's going to what I think it's going to happen is that we are going to break the previous low and at least retest the key level around the 24700 this key level is very important to me because this is my uh well my short term bull bear line we, meaning that if we break with this uh, uh well with this level in my eyes we are going to be in a short term bearish market so heads up to that uh heads up to today's uh, open because it's going to be very volatile uh bears are already in uh disclaimer i am already short the dow myself 
um, around uh, the 26400 uh, preparing for what seems to be a negative outcome so this has been the pre uh, the daily market preview uh, I'm going to be doing this kind of videos every single day and if you're not a premium member I well I'm leaving you a link below this video so you can join us for just $25 for an entire month of premium analysis trade ideas and access to me and the other trading coaches until tomorrow guys I'm Orlando for trading